Okay. One, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Good. All right, everyone, please gather around by the whiteboard here for me. All right, you got it. Oh, do we have graders? No? I'll grade for you. I'll grade for you. I don't know if you need them. They have, they have two professors over there. Yeah, but one's teacher, one class, one class, one class. Should we just wait a sec? I mean, I like to get this done as possible, but. Just say it started now. Just, let's just go and be All like, right. oh, you were late. So today, the standards we're working on are combining balances and transferring into, the, into a three-part sequence. And then we're going to be performing a rhythmic activity with correct response to simple rhythms. And so our objectives are today is students will be able to apply their prior knowledge of educational dance and gymnastics to demonstrate the following skills of changing direction, transferring weight, and rolling into a three-part sequence or stage using three rolls we're going to be working on. Why? Because we want to increase our educational gymnastic skills of changing directions, transferring weight, and rolling. And how? By learning educational gymnastics of rocking, body part balance, and rock and roll. So first thing we're going to do today, we're going to start off our warm-up. Um, you guys have done our warm-up before. We're going to travel around the teaching area in the general space doing different locomotor moves, but I would like us to also focus on moves on balance. So just balance moves. I guess you could just see more stable moves. You could hit like this real quick and walk around. Strike a pose. You're going to be um, making balance shapes, and when you stop, focus your attention on being balanced or on balance. And you can use broad movements, which are closed or tight movements, and then open balance movements, which are uh, wide and free. And my expectations, my stop, well, if I say stop, look, and listen, I expect everyone to stop, look, and listen. That is the stop signal. All more, right. One more thing. Um, you can travel at various speeds while you move around the general space. All right. All right, well, let's get started. Let's move around te teaching area using balance, shade, stripe of pose, different locomotor movements. Good work, Owen. Very balanced. Good job, Eddie.
this a mic? Is it working now? Yeah, it should be. So now we're going to see if we can turn side to side or forward to backward and change speed. Dr. Barry, can you hear me? All right. Awesome, David. Way to experiment side to side, rocking on your back, forwards and backwards, side to side. Now, as you're practicing and experimenting, doing side to side on your back and forward, I want you to try changing your speeds. Can you do it quickly? Can you do it slower? All the fluid in your knee. Awesome. What a change speeds, David and Kirsten. Brady, you all right? Huh? You all right? Yeah. Working on changing our speeds. I will change my speed. I was going really slow. You're going real slow? I'm trying out slow? Good. Okay. Awesome job, Corey. Yeah. Stop looking, listen. Now that we are just experimenting, going different ways, forwards and backwards, side to side, transferring our weight. We're also doing it at different speeds. Now I have a challenge for you. See if you can rock hard enough on your back and then you transfer your weight onto your feet. So you would come up forward on your feet, just like Colleen tried to demonstrate. Good job, Caitlin. Awesome job, great demonstration for me. Transferring our weight, going back to forward. Oh, and that was really impressive. Billy, you all right? Oh, you almost had it, Billy. Colleen almost had it. Good try. You all right, Brady? Yeah, I'm going to try to get it. All right. Let me see it. Awesome work, Brady. Good job. You guys are doing an awesome job. Or is it when you're already on your way back up, it's going to use it. See, because, like... There you go, David. We'll see. I like how David is asking his partner for advice on executing this task. Owen, you're just a freak. I like it. You're crazy. Dude, you're like an athletic freak. I got to get it again. I did it once. We already have 13 minutes. You just want to move on to the different type of rolls that we're going to do. We're going to change. We got to do a rock into a roll, though. We got to do the long roll. Let's just go. All right, stop looking, listen for me. So now we just worked on weight transfer and changing our directions. Now we're going to work on changing a rock into a roll. So the rolls, when we change to a rock to a roll, we must keep our moment, momentum going in the same direction. We're going to do log rolls, turtle rolls, and shoulder rolls, and forward and backward rolls. We've already done forward and backward rolls a little bit, but we're going to keep working on them. So you may choose one you feel most comfortable doing, but first, I'd like us to try the log roll. So the log roll, if you lay flat on your back, feet pointed straight out, like Owen is demonstrating for me, and then Owen would either roll to his right or to his left. That is a log roll. Thank you, Owen, for the demonstration. I'd like everyone to experiment and try that now for me. Watch out for your partner. Maintain your self space. Awesome job, Brady. Way to complete a log roll. Good job, Kirsten. Good job, David. Awesome job, Corey. Good job, Caitlin. When we practice the log roll, is our body loose or is it tight? It's tight. It's very tight. We're keeping our core and our muscle tension tight, right? Good job, Billy. Get off your phone. Off your phone, Colleen. All right, stop looking, listen. All right, now we're gonna be practicing a turtle roll. So when we're doing a turtle roll, we're going to get in our shells and curl up in a tight ball. <laughs> a tight curl shape. Owen, would you like to demonstrate a turtle roll for me? Tight shape ball, roll to your left or your right. 
Good job, Owen. If everyone would like to experiment, try turtle rolls for me. Everyone's a turtle. Go Terps. Can I see a turtle roll, Billy and Colleen? Turtle roll. What do you need a modification for a turtle roll? Just go as tight as you can. It's all in, it's everyone's different. Am I allowed to just roll from side to side? That, that, that's how you're supposed to do a turtle roll. I don't know if I was supposed to go on it. Nope. That's just me because I'm I'm too tight turtle. What do we think about this turtle? What do you think? It's a tight or a loose shape? Very tight. Very tight. Tightening our muscles. All right, now we want to do a shoulder roll. So a shoulder. So a shoulder roll, it's a tight round shape. It's tucking your chin, squatting down in a curl position with your hands on the floor. So I want everyone to put your hands on the mat. Just like Owen has demonstrated for me. Now Owen, I would like you to lift your hips so you'll be looking between your legs. And you're gonna transfer your weight from your feet to your hands to your shoulders. I'm gonna go this way. Yep, that's a good idea. Following safety per So that's how you probably do a shoulder roll. Notice how Ernest transfers his weight from his hands and then kept his chin tucked. If we, if we combine this line. one and if we take turns using our safety things, I think we'll be all right. Stop looking, listen for me. I just want to make sure that we're taking our turns doing the shoulder roll is a little more advanced. So make sure that more than two people are not going at a time. I only want to do one person at a time on your mat. May it begin. I did it. Colin, do you need help with yours? Since you're not here? Billy, you get back in the class for me. Come on, Billy. Make sure we're tucking our chin. It's a very important thing. Make sure to tuck your chin. Way to go, David. Way to keep your chin I need to round my back more. And transfer your weight. <laughs> Rounding our back, tucking our chin, squatting down with our hands forward. Awesome job, David. Great work, Eddie. Way to transfer your weight and keep your chin tucked. Do it. Do it. Not when they're looking. Hey, what time did you guys start? We still. All right, we're still going to do these like three minutes, though. All right, stop looking, listen for me. So we're doing how many groups, how many people are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna do four groups of uh, three, five groups of two. Yeah, so now can you get toe to toe with your closest partner? Toe to toe with your partner, so you already should be in partners in your mat. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a movement sequence with the three rolls in it. So you want, we want you to explore the transition between rolls. Can you, uh, can you have a slower roll? Or can you have a faster roll? Or can you uh, have a tight curl roll? If you look to the corner, there are four cones, you'll see a worksheet. There will be instructions on the worksheet for you to use when a work and practice these three different rolls that we just uh, tried. And I want you to come with a gymnastics routine for me. You may begin. You have one minute. Coming out with a, coming out with a gymnastics routine. What are, are you grading? What are you doing? Yeah, we're grading. Why are two people grading? Are three people grading you? 
Just really? You. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Yep. You need help? Can I do forward, backward, forward? Whatever, whatever direction. You can do whatever. She said she's gonna get dizzy. If I do any of the it's whatever routine. Shoulder roll forward. Is it you lovely friends. Going at the same time. No. Or is it like I do when it does. Um, I'm probably gonna push the mats together so that you two can go go at the same time. Forward, backward. Yep. Forward. It goes like this. Yep. Right. You wanna see this? We have our whole routine done. You know what we're doing? Hey, Jig. 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 We need to push two mats together so then they both can go at the same time during the routine. So you push those two together. Corey, do you mind standing up for me? I'm just going to push these two mats together so we do a routine that both of you can go at the same time. Oh, good. So that one person doesn't go by themselves and feel pressured. Stop looking, listen, does everyone have a routine? Would any group like to volunteer to go first? Everyone please be respectful and watch Colleen and Owen. Good job. Kirsten and David are up. Awesome work. Way to tuck your chin there. Way to roll to uh, left and right. Way to choose different directions. And the log roll. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Awesome job. On this side, he would like to volunteer to go first. Caitlin and Corey. All right. Let's see our routine. Awesome work. Way to tuck your chin. Way to make a tight shape. Awesome log roll. All right, Eddie and Mason. Good log roll. Way to change direction and pace. Awesome work. Good job. Now, can everybody come in to the whiteboard and take a seat for me, please? You like that, Eddie? Stop looking, listen. It's going. All right, can everybody take a seat for me if you don't Take a seat. Off? You may stand if you would like. All right. So what was our focus of today's lesson? What did we focus on? Rocking and rolling. Rocking and rolling. What? Weight transfer. Finding balance. Now, what roll did you all find to be the hardest? The log, turtle, or shoulder roll? Shoulder. Why is that? It made me dizzy. Shoulder. It is a little, a little scary at first. You tuck your chin. Transfer, yep. Alright, well that's all. No. Uh, we well, got, an got an exit slip here for you. Um, head on exit slip. Like, like to know what you guys individually would think. Yeah. Um, so I thought you guys did an awesome job today. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great day.